Hey, welcome back to another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. Now this is the second episode in a series about rooftop storage for my Honda Pilot. In the first episode, we cut some super strut and pieced it together to make a roof rack. Those little L's bolted to the frame um, create a nice place to attach to the existing rails on the vehicle. From this angle you can see it does end up being low profile as I wanted it to be. With all of the holes in the super strut and unistrut you can have hundreds of attachment points for all different types of things that you want to carry on top of your roof. Before I mount the rack on the pilot, I am going to set up some storage cases on top of the rack and just uh, drill the holes for them. I actually was afraid to do this on top of the pilot. I thought maybe I would drill wrong or miss a hole and go right through to the uh, roof of the pilot. I just set the rack up symmetrically on the cases and um, use that as a live template. These cases are actually from Harbor Freight. I took off all of the handles, extra accoutrements, labels, and I wanted these cases because they give me the ability to keep the roof rack and storage low profile so that I can move it in and out of my garage. Don't have to park it outside for a nighttime smash and grab. Um, this lets me get it in and out without a problem. I'm going to mount these to the rack and just make sure everything fits nice and clean as I uh, put it on the uh, pilot. I do see that space between the two storage cases becoming something. I think it would fit nicely for some kayak carriers or possibly from a uh, um, narrow roof basket. Now that the cases are on the rack, you can see there's very usable space between the um, cases and that definitely has room for a roof rack or a kayak carrier. I am ready to mount this apparatus on top of my vehicle at this point and this is the hoist I use to put my rooftop tent on and off of my trailer and vehicle 
and um, it's going to work great to lift this up and then back the pilot in to uh, uh, put it on the roof. While the roof rack is hanging out, I am starting to shape the T-bolts that are going to fit into the rail of the Honda existing racks. Um, they are just a little bit too wide to fit in, so I'm using a grinder just to take them down. Um, about uh, 16th on each side, they will fit in neatly between the rails. And then uh, turn them 90 degrees, and then they will anchor um, those little L brackets right into the existing rails. After I confirmed the fit of the rack with the storage cases on top, I removed the L brackets to begin to uh, place the T-bolts. I then removed the storage cases and did the final placement of the rack uh, where I wanted it on the pilot and uh, anchored everything down um, and hopefully those eight bolts will um, just hold pretty firmly. So here is the final view of the rack. You can see all the attachment points. Um, you can see it blends in pretty nicely with the existing rails and it is also very low profile once attached. One question you might have is how are you going to access um, all of the equipment, especially the center area between the two storage cases. And I just bought myself a, a door latch uh, anchor, a foot uh, pad on Amazon, and you can just step right up onto that. It will hold your weight, and you can access the case, you can access the center, and I'm going to use it right here to finish mounting the uh, cases. I am really pleased how this turned out. You can see from the clearance at the garage door and the storage cases that the low profile was the right setup for me. So I took it out for a drive to test for wind noise and maybe the roof of the pilot is well insulated but it just made no difference. Well hey, thanks for joining me for another episode of Eric's Camping Adventures. Hope you got something from this video and uh, if you're looking for a low profile roof rack system this one might be the one for you. Hey, subscribe and come back for some more videos.